Hi, and welcome back. It's so amazing to be with you all again. It's been a hot minute since I've seen you last, but I am here at one of our most recent kitchen renovations. We are an amazing kitchen cabinetry design company located in Boston, Massachusetts. My name's Amanda, and I can't wait to give you the tour. This was a really amazing project to work on. Uh, I grew very close with the clients. I consider them true friends uh, at this point. I got to work with them for well over a year. And when they first came in to the very first meeting, the goal of the project was to open this space up completely. Before, they had uh, the kitchen here, but they had massive walls built around it. So when you came in their front door, you had no flow. Uh, you had no natural light in between the two rooms. And in addition to doing the kitchen, they actually ended ended up building a second bedroom as well to maximize the square footage. Again, we are in the city, so square footage is, you know, not something we have a ton of. So they integrated a second bedroom uh, that easily flowed into the rest of the space. And we'll definitely throw in some pictures so you guys can see the before and afters, because I know those are always fun to check out. Where this island used to be, we used to have walls that wrapped around that hid the kitchen, uh, not allowing a clear view of sight coming through. So we're gonna bring you over to the the island and take a little tour and show you some fun appliance features that we did. The island was meant to look like a stone sculpture and we wanted to bring in some warmth so we did some nice open accents here in wood, beautiful custom built bench. We also did fully integrated appliances and for the cooktop they did something called Invisicook. Invisicook is induction burners that are built under this stone right here and you actually do all your cooking right on top but it can't be seen. Welcome to what I call the working side of the island. As you can see here, to keep the look of the stone sculpture, we wanted to do very, um, well I should say no hardware at all. The only um, plate that we have on it is this is what actually controls the Invisicook, which I was telling you about earlier. All push to open drawers, really nice Miele oven, and they have a beautiful Liber wine unit right here at the end, all fully integrated with flush design. So the client thought a lot about the space and what, how to utilize it in the best way. So we have what I call two different sections. We have the working section and the entertaining section. So the working section is what we think, where we cook, where we clean, where we prep food. We have our custom paneled fridge, our four foot galley sink, coffee system, combi steamer, custom panel dishwasher. And then when we head on down here, we'll call this the entertaining section. So come on down, we'll take a look. So here, we want, they really wanted to be able to display their wine bottles, so we did a beautiful wine display with wine glass um, cabinets below, glass doors, integrated lighting, and all this is actually reduced depth cabinets. So in order to get this seamless integrated look, we actually had to play with two different depths of cabinets. So we had our full depth section and then our reduced depth section and this way we still maximize the space um, while still keeping with our of course beautiful flush installation. We also did, which this again was the client's idea, they had so many ideas and really thought about every inch of the space and how to utilize it effectively, but they wanted to do something fun up top. So you can see we have these open niches, what kind of mirror throughout the project. So we had that open niche in the island, these open niches where we have the wine, where we have the kitchen sink, and then it runs all along the top. Of course, integrated lighting was brought in to you know give you that entertaining feel feel and kind of take you out that, you know, you might think the kitchen is there, but now you're in the entertaining section. So it plays with your mind a little bit. I think it came out absolutely amazing. Another thing the client did in this space was put all lighting on Alexa. So let's have some fun. Alexa, turn off all lights. Alexa, turn on dining room. Alexa, turn on all lights. Now that's some fun. 
Well, that concludes our kitchen tour. I hope you've learned a lot, seen a lot, got a lot of different ideas. It was an absolute pleasure of mine to work with these clients. Um, I kind of secretly hoped they'd buy another house and we could work together again. I think they're probably good for now and want to enjoy their space. But I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Stay tuned, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye!